42, welcome back. Kids, books, and cookies. The three go hand in hand for one woman known throughout Stanley. Now she's a woman making kids in the community the center of her life in this week's Someone You Should Know. I'd be so excited because I always love to read with her. Trinity Heenick, like dozens of students who came before and after her, always looked forward to her turn reading with Doris Walter, a Stanley Public School volunteer. Doris is so well known and treasured that students and staff held a surprise assembly to show their appreciation by showering her with cards and reading books to her. Third grade teacher Heidi Safslin has known Doris all her life and still looks forward to the days she gets to see Doris. I'm the first one to sign up on her little sign up sheet when she says she wants to come and because I just know how important it is. Not only is it important for the students, but it's important to Doris and for good reason. They like it because I don't know what it is about it, but I think I really say it, but I think I get just as much out of it as they do because it's the idea of kids. I get my kid fix. Kids have been the center of Doris Walter's life since before she and her husband started their own family. For 30 years, she got her kid fixed by running an in-home daycare, but when her husband was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, Doris knew it was time to find another outlet to surround herself with children. So 16 years ago, she contacted Stanley Public School and asked to volunteer. They immediately found the perfect position for Doris. I thought, awesome. And I've been doing it ever since. Doris leaves a lasting impression on every child who crosses her path, including football players like Kane Rudolph, who passes by her house after every practice with the rest of the team, inevitably stopping in to fill their bellies with cookies. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when she does that every single week and she's been doing that for 40 years, that's like 20,000 cookies made. I mean, it's a lot more than what it sounds like. Doris says she couldn't possibly say no to the football players, and for good reason. The football guys would go by, and they would be part of the kids that I had taken care of. So they could smell the cookies, and they would come in and want one. And of course, she'd give it to them. And that's how it all started. Doris has a special name for all the kids she cared for in her home and all of the kids she's read with over the years. When they graduated or whenever they, they, I started calling them my was kids. And they're still my was kids. From her was kids to the kids she reads with today, Doris knows all too well, time flies when you're having fun. Whatever book they start reading, it's whatever makes it interesting. And then you get really caught up in it. And it's almost like, oh, good grief. It's time for them to go back in. And it's like, but Doris cherishes every moment she gets to spend with every child. People enjoy your kids. My kids, my grandkids, and my great-grandkids, they're all mine, and they know it. And my was kids are mine, and all kids are. Whether a cookie or a book, Doris Walter knows the way to a child's heart, and she is someone you should know. Well, Doris spends a lot of time in Fargo where her husband is cared for today. She always comes back home to get her kid fix. And I have to share that uh, Jacob Hellman, he's the one who nominated her. He's a teacher uh -huh. at, at Stanley Public School. And he said that she is known, Doris is known as the Betty White of Stanley. <laughs> and after meeting her, I have to concur. Yeah. Oh my goodness, such a wonderful woman and knows how to make you laugh and just knows how to you'll make you feel good. Certainly a lot of love for her. Definitely. Instantly. Much deserved. All right, Stone, uh, let's give Doris some good traveling weather here. Yeah, well,